Hey everybody, what's up? How are you? Back here with more Irish tidbits and nuggets on my YouTube channel. Specifically, I'm going to rank where Brian Kelly falls as far as great Notre Dame coaches of all time. I'm going to list the top coaches and then place Brian Kelly at the end. I know today I made another video about Brian Kelly talking about him comparing him to Jim Leland, the manager of the Pirates and the Marlins in another sport. Now I'm going to compare him to the other great coaches in Notre Dame history and where he stacks up and where he will stack up if Notre Dame is to win out the end of the 2020 season and capture its first national championship in 32 years since 1988. So here we have the list of great coaches in Notre Dame history of all time. Starting at the top, I'm going to start with number one, Newt Rockney. The most obvious choice ever is the greatest coach in Notre Dame history. He won three national championships. His victories were 105. His losses were only 12. And he really ushered in and was the godfather of the great Notre Dame spirit and what we have today for Notre Dame. He really was the person that started. He planted the seeds for Notre Dame greatness. So I have Newt Rockney, who also played at Notre Dame. And he perfected the forward pass in 1913. So he's a part of football history, specifically not just Notre Dame history. So Newt Rockney is number one. Number two, I have Frank Leahy. Frank Leahy was the great coach at Notre Dame in the 40s. He came over from Boston College, so Frank Leahy ironically coached at the two major Catholic universities in college football, Boston College, then going right to Notre Dame in 1941. He coached in 1941. He won national championships in 43, 46, 47, and 49. He won four in six years for Notre Dame as well as playing there. So I have Frank Leahy with his national championships, the winningest coach as far as national championships at Notre Dame with four as the number two coach at Notre Dame of all time. Number three, I have Era Parsegian. The era of era was 1964 to 1974. Era Parsegian came over from Northwestern, specifically, and he ushered back in the golden era of Notre Dame football with two national championships in 1966 and 1973. He also finished twice, uh, second twice, in 1970 and 1971. So Era Parsegian, 10 years, two national championships. I have him number three as far as Notre Dame coaches of all time. The fourth all-time coach of Notre Dame history is the great, as the greats, is Lou Holtz. Lou Holtz coached from 1986 to 1996 at Notre Dame. He won one national championship in 1988. He also finished second twice, and he also ushered Notre Dame back out of the darkness into the golden era after Jerry Faust was coach from 1981 to 1985. Lou Holtz from 86 to 96 had 100 wins. Lou Holtz also finished twice second nationally. And I want to add this caveat. One of the great things about Lou Holtz that never gets mentioned as a theoretical reality is that had he been a coach, had he been around when the college football playoff system was like functioning now, he would have won at least one, probably two national championships with Notre Dame because of his ability to coach in big games, his ability to prepare his teams, motivate his teams, and inspire them in big games and bowl games year after year. He would have won more national championships with the current setting and the current format of college football. So Lou Holtz, I have him at number four. Number five is Dan Devine. Dan Devine took over in 1970, after Era Parsegian in 1975. He was there from 1975 until 1980. He won one national championship. He also coached Joe Montana. So I have him at number five, Dan Devine, for five, six years at Notre Dame, one national championship. He's the fifth greatest coach of all time. Number six, Brian Kelly, you are it. So Brian Kelly, with all of his wins and all of his appearances in championship games, is the Notre Dame's sixth greatest coach of all time. However, here's the caveat to this video. The caveat and the reality is if Brian Kelly were to win out, he has 101 wins right now. I said Newt Rockney has 105. If he's to win out against Syracuse, and then he wins again against Wake Forest, and then he wins in the ACC Championship against Clemson, and then he wins the two college football playoff finals, probably against Ohio State and Alabama, or perhaps Florida, then Brian Kelly will have 106 wins at all time. And that would propel him, I feel, into the fifth greatest coaching uh, fifth greatest coach in Notre Dame history. So with those wins that would elevate his status specifically this year. So he has a chance to rise from sixth to fifth all time. And if he stays at Notre Dame, perhaps he could rise even further. But as of now, that's my video. Where does Brian Kelly rank as far as Notre Dame coaches? And where could he rank specifically if he wins out the rest of the 2020 campaign? This is Brigham Avery. Thanks so much. Please subscribe. Please keep watching. I love the support. Love the comments, positive and negatives. Hit that like button. Please subscribe, as I said just a few seconds ago. And as always and eternally, go Irish.